Hello, and welcome to The Feature, a podcast presented by Texas A&M University Kingsville's Features and Special Articles class. My name is Sarah Reyna, and today I will be telling you a story about Dr. Pamela Wright, who is a deaf professor here at the college. I hope you enjoy the story. Adaptation is difficult for anybody. Having a disability thrown in the mix makes change even more challenging. For Texas A&M University Kingsville's English professor, Dr. Wright, the transition from in-person classes to remote online has been something she has had issues with. I love being in the classroom with my students. I love that energy, Dr. Wright said. The transition to remote teaching and learning has taken that away from me. While video conferences help alleviate some of the missed interaction with students, it does not completely fulfill the desire for hands-on learning. Not only have teachers had to adapt to these changes, but the students have as well. Students of Dr. Wright had adjusted to her style of teaching and the way she set up her classroom to accommodate her needs. The students used speakers in her classroom that connected to her cochlear implant. Dr. Wright also had a blue key with a microphone in it that would get thrown around the classroom for students to speak into. With these adaptations, her students were able to communicate with her with little to no difficulty. Because of these difficult times of having to go strictly remote, Dr. Wright has not been able to direct her classes as she would in face-to-face lectures. Although the change has brought challenges along the way, many of the students that are taking her class have noticed that the change to asynchronous learning has not deterred Dr. Wright's attitude towards teaching. Dr. Wright has done a great job adapting, the student Emma Hodges said. Her passion for the literature she teaches shines through just as clearly as when she teaches it in person. An additional challenge of this transition is the fact that Dr. Wright does not have a full-time interpreter, which results in occasionally making communication with students on the difficult. Although Tamluk does provide Dr. Wright as an interpreter during meetings and presentations, she does not get one for her courses. The transition is not without its difficulty at times, especially for a deaf person who relies on liberating and interpreters to help, Dr. Wright said. Throughout these difficult circumstances of COVID-19, Dr. Wright has not let it affect her teachings. During this time, she has relied on uploading lectures and having video conferences with the students. While this does not completely fulfill the same as in-person teaching, it helps in lessening the missing of the interaction with the students. Although this makes the adjustment more difficult, it does not deter Dr. Wright's ability to keep students understand what she is teaching. Even with this change, Dr. Wright is still able to teach the fundamentals of literature and learning, Kira Clark said. Despite the challenges of having to move her courses online, Dr. Wright has proven that anything is possible with the ability to adapt to changes. Thank you so much for listening, and please tune in to the Feature Podcast Weekly for more stories about interesting people, places, and things. Thank you.